We are here at the iconic Sharjah Cricket Stadium for the third and final T20. Pakistan v England. Well, the toss was won by Owen Morgan. That's a very confident stroll for the England openers. Nothing to be worried about this 22 yards. It looks pretty solid. A typical Sharjah pitch this, David. It's got a shine to it, doesn't it? And it's quite cool tonight. It's certainly more cool than it has been. He's a good striker of the ball, James Vince at number one slot for England. Jason Roy liked the pitch, had a little chat to him before the play and he absolutely loved what he saw here. 80 runs in six matches. Amir Yamin, the debutant, has got the ball. Maybe small in size, but they uh, all feel that he's got the potential really to make it big as an all-rounder. 13 wickets in 24 matches. Good with the bat, in fact. He reminds me of Abdul Razak. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a smaller, smaller Razak. Yeah, well, that's good to see a youngster being given the cap and a lot of patting on the back, and a lot of embraces. They messed up his hairdo. Well, Waka, the coach, he, he, he smashed it onto his head. They're all having a go. Oh, the size fits, yeah, thumbs up. All set to go. Right then, what have we got here? A slip is in place, three men on the off in the ring, three on the leg side. Fine leg up in the circle. Square leg is in position early for Pakistan. Plays the call from the umpire. Roy is on strike. Oh, sharp in dipper. Missing the stop so given. First ball. Wicked of the first delivery in T20 internationals. That's got to be some kind of a record. Well, terrific. Skiddy talks about this shiny surface. We've got a young kid who comes into the team. He doesn't want to go, but he has to. Gets on him very, very quickly. Sensational start for Pakistan. Jason Roy's been, Jason Roy's gone. England are known for one. Getting loose is Joe Root at number three. England none for one. That's a magical start. First ball in international T20 cricket and what he does, he picks up a wicket leg before wicket. Nippy and swift. Yeah, he's just sitting leg stump. Jason Roy just dwelt and thought and the umpire had no doubt. Great start. Almost pulled a muscle in celebrations. It's... Once again, good angle, wider of the stumps, hitting the stumps. It's an excellent start. Good pace, 82 MPH. But the only thing to consider, he is a young kid on debut, so England won't have seen him. And what you, you know, you like to see the mechanics of the action. How does he run up? What's his delivery like? Well, he bustles in, doesn't he? And he's a bit skiddy.
He wants the middle stump. Be aware of that slanting in swinging angle. A little bit of room provided. Miscues that drive. Bustling run up. Straight approach, head down, runs in hard. Uh, pretty decent. Gets it past the man at point. Call for two. Silk and we're a little lazy on the take. Throw is in, but two runs taken. We're just thinking back to previous matches. This is the one with a slow outfield, isn't it? I just wonder whether it's quickened up at all. I think uh, we have smaller boundaries today compared to the other two outfields. A uh, good delivery, trying to make room. Playing a miss. Oh, off to a sensational start. Amir Yamin, a wicket off his first ball in a T20 debut game. Fantastic. Three for one, England. Last delivery was an absolute beauty. Just seemed straight away that he's angling the ball in, but he picks the ball up there just outside off stump. So a terrific start for Pakistan and the young debutant, Yamin. Look at this last delivery, it's up there, and it's actually gone the other way. We've seen him in, in, in. That's gone the other way. England winning the toss and electing to bat first on what appears to be a good batting strip. A little slower. It may turn. 50 matches and 45 wickets for Sohail Tanvir. Oh, starts with a real wide one, a toughie for the keeper. That's not good stuff from uh, experienced Swelt and we Amir Yamin ran in, hit the pads, got the great result of the first ball of his uh, debut ball, and here is a is an experienced hand. 50 T20 matches starts off with a wide. Seventy-eight meters, seventy-four meters through uh, long off and long on. A small square leg fence, fine leg. We're talking about fifty-seven a piece. It's well placed. Two runs. Crowd will build. We've moved from Dubai down into Sharjah. Long journey. On the road here, rush hour, everybody for themselves. Which lane do you want to go in, wherever there's a gap? Oh, catch! He's dropped it again. That's not the first time we've seen this. Third drop by Soil Tanvir in this series, that is. Well, he's lucky if he catches this. Big strapping fella on his follow-through. Might just to damage his hand as well. Awkward action. He's not really gathered himself. As Vince punches it back, he's look. He's trying to get out of the way, really. It just hits his thumb. Oops. Oh, look at the thumb. Down the track. Runs with the shot, direct hit, would have made it very interesting. Drama action in the first five minutes of the play. It's Shweb Malik who ran in and almost hit the bullseye. Was it close? The bat was in the air. Over the line, but in the air, that cricket bat.
Slow delivery is uh, is a nice wristy shot from the striker. Two runs once again in that area of Square Leg. Well, so El Tanvir and Mohamed Irfan in the team, the, the two big chaps, and I think they'll find fielding quite difficult, and England should seize on that every time you hit it to them, put them under pressure. First outing in this T20 series for Mohamed Irfan. Shot ball, and that's beautifully done at point. Emma Shazad with a flying stop. Anticipated that one beautifully at point. Seven runs from the over. Last ball coming up. Wait, yeah. Gets worked away on the leg side once again for a run. Joe Root off to an easy start here. Four from five and uh, England 11 for one. Yeah, just a steady eight there uh, for England. And it helps that first delivery, you mentioned it, the, the, the experienced player, first deliveries are wide. It just gives England an extra delivery and a couple of more runs. Beautiful is that through the offside. Elegant. Class personified. Joe Root playing a lovely crisp cover drive. Nicely onto the bat. Decent stride also from Root. A look at the head position and then slicing it past point off the front foot. Glorious from Root. No! And the pads, he'll not get the ball to bounce a lot, he's only a short fellow, but he's slippery. Yeah, beautiful balance, going back and forward, striking it right out of the middle of the bat. where they can knock him away if he gets his angle ever so slightly wrong just push the ball off your hip you're always getting a single he's charging in the pads once again with that angle it, it can be difficult to pick because he's slippery off the surface he runs in at 100 miles an hour and he's got a whippy action goes through the crease very swiftly as well average speed 131.3 fastest 132.8 is only shot so from the batting perspective it will be looking a little swift than what he appears to be And he has an altered pace. First game, he's just running in, let it go. Very cool. Look at the kids, look at the dudes. Matching the color of their shirts.
down the pitch and wow this really is fantastic from the striker it's root once again showcasing his class and talent brilliantly done through the onside 21 for one england real power in the shot and, and punch from root Little flick right at the end. Got a ball in chains. Mohamed Irfan comes into the attack. Look at the size of him, Mohamed Irfan. Age 33, almost 33 feet tall. Thirteen matches and eight wickets for Mohamed Irfan. Should have played uh, earlier. I think they missed the trick by not employing him in the second T20 game. Replacing Soil Tanvir. Catch it was the call on the bounce to the debutant, Amir Yamin. Seven foot one left arm over he's taller than the two boxes he's just been the heavyweight championship the two boxes there clicks and fury this guy's taller than them get inside jab jab give him the old one the old one the other one <laughs> catch it was the call and you've got to straight away adjust to his height to his angle Yeah, that's the trouble area in his follow through. He was hit on that uh, palm that I think he's got uh, in his on the way. This was the first drop. Then he dropped a sitter in the second T20. And this was today. Hardly had time really to react. It's a six. Magnificent pickup shot. Joe Root is making it ridiculously easy. That's a pickup of a square leg for a gigantic one. Oh, we're off again. Big shots. Root this time. All the way. Super smashing legs. Yeah, beautifully done. In position early and whacked it. Very powerfully and uh, very easily for a six. Do you know, yet again, opening overs of the game, no swing. Brand new ball, no swing at all. He's been bossed here, Irfan. Seven, including a massive six and a drive over the infield. Will it do the distance? No, falls short of the expectations of the batsman. Rolls over the, the rope for uh, a big four. I think he picked up the slow delivery. Go root and uh, put it away beautifully. Yeah, the attempted leg cutter. Well, just a little change from England. Alex Hales doesn't play in this game. Vince opens and Root comes in at three. Root, 23 from 14 here. Around the stumps, change of angle for Irfan. It's a full toss on the pads. Clearly missed out. Juicy full toss on the pads, only earns him a single. But England off to a, a terrific start here. 33 for the Rocks of one after four. First inning scores on the two previous matches. What were they? 161 and 175, 176. So England are going at eight and over here for the first four. Six overs of power play. Just two fielders outside of the 30-yard circle.
So Elton Weir uh, has got a change of ends. is in glorious hitting form Joe Root finds the fence once again good use of the feet he's taking the attack here to Pakistan well, Root missed the first game played in the second he's got a goal in this one and he's having a goal there's a lot of self-belief and a lot of talent in this England side they're 2-0 up can't lose the series and they're having a ball out there 37 for the loss of one. Uninhibited batting and stroke play from Root. Once again, glorious timing from the right-hander. Rushing back for the second. This is good cricket. Throw was hard and flat, but uh, Vince made his ground quite easily in the end. Hectic time for England to finish this game and back to the UK. And then in about two weeks' time, they go off to... South Africa. Test matches, one day internationals, T20s. Oh, they're in again. Here we go. Who's this? We've got a shark in. Yeah. Manages to cut a slow delivery. <laughs> That's where he's been so effective in this knock so far. He's been able to pick the link early. He's been able to read the bowler beforehand after a sensational start Joe Root 31 from 19 one of uh, a handful of few can play all the formats quite cle cleverly in T20 50 over in test cricket an integral part of England Joe Root Smashed, goes to Shahid Afridi. Gets beaten by extra bit of spin and, and force. Off that drive, two runs conceded. Misfield, Pakistan, being pushed hard here by a bit of uh, exciting stroke play from England. Ship 42 from just 29 balls. Down the track, gets it past the infield through mid wicket. That's an excellent shot. Plenty of fours in this uh, first quarter of five overs. England off to a rollicking start, 46 for the loss of one. Hope it's getting better and better for England. Excellent start, rejigging the top of the order. James Vince now in uh, his more customary role, opening the batting. That's what he does back home in domestic cricket. But it's Joe Root who's in charge at the moment for England. Showing his versatility and forces the captain to make a change. Oh, beautifully. The last game picked up uh, three wickets, became the leading wicket taker in uh, international T20 cricket. Might just skid on this surface, it's a pretty good batting surface, particularly with the new ball. Yeah, skid on. England haven't been bothered by the fast bowlers. Root has looked in exceptional form. The ball coming on to the bat. This is the crunch moment. England can get on top of a freebie. 
That'll go a long way in getting a big score because there's Shweb Malik and Freedy is leading the spin attack, so he's the premier spinner. Yeah, it's just not quite got going. 12 and 10 for Vince. That's uh, in the last game. You can see good grouping, but it's uh, targeting those stumps that are so crucial for a Freedy. But he does in the air, but safe enough. Vince hit that well. It went flat. Freedy gesturing that he might have thought the fielder could have got to it, but it went so flat that I had to make a very quick decision. Ah! Gone, yes, attacking the stumps. Joe Rune, I think, trying to hit leg side. He's so dangerous on a surface like this. And Pakistan pick up the crucial wicket of Joe Root. That drift in from a freedy and the ball sort of skidding into the right hander. Missed the inside edge and rocketed into the stumps. Root was looking very dangerous. He's gone. A free these strikes in his first over. Root out for 32. England 48 for two. Moeen Ali then, fresh to the crease, keen to make an impact. He's getting very busy at the top of the order for England. James Vince is making an impression. No Alex Hales today. Catch it! And gone, and gone first ball. Moeen Ali, very tame. The captain has two, England have lost three. Poor two with the bat from Moin Ali. And it continues well. It ends here. 48 for three. Yeah, just skidding on. I think he's looking for a little bit of turn. There's absolutely no turn. It's a very familiar pose for Shay Afridi. And it's a slow walk off for Moin Ali. Out first ball, 48 for three. Captain then to the crease. And in uh, very good form as well throughout the last uh, six months or so. And Morali into the attack. So what a move by Shahid Afridi. Wickets in the last game. The confidence of that to bring himself in in the power play overs, which have now concluded. So the field can spread, just have to have four in the inner circle. Freddy's buzzing, you can see him there. Perfect start for England, but now runs needed from the captain and James Vince, who's been watching from the other end. One thing is for sure that Owen Morgan won't panic. He can't at the crease, as is James Vince. Freely brought himself on in the sixth over, did this in the previous T20 as well. 
that drift in, that ball just darting back into the stumps. It's his first one, and then Mohin Ali just pulled it straight back to Afridi. Two wickets and two balls, and Pakistan right back in it. Suddenly, all that momentum that England had built up has gone away because Joe Root was looking so good. Afridi dismissed him. Now, a little bit of a period where you have to rebuild the sorts. Afridi's working overtime with his fielders, just making sure they're in exactly the right spot. Deep square has just gone. A bit further behind. Bowling saw him coming. He's dropped the length back. It's been a good over or two this for Pakistan. Need a performance today as well. Obviously 2 0 down in the series, but <laughs> it's the look alike. Good work, not been at their best throughout the series in the field. One of two good moments, but not enough. Some good bowling by Anwar Ali as well, packing up that of free the over. Not giving anything for the batsman to hit. Ball well in the previous game. He's got a new job now, did not, did not get the new ball. Bowling a slightly older ball. One for three. The batting to come. Butler Jewin next, then Billings. That combination. I wonder if England can keep those two in the same side when it comes to the World T20. Just rejigging their side constantly. No Alex Hales today. No Reese Topley. No Liam Plunkett. No Stephen Parry. That's the rest you can see on there. Yeah, on a hat-trick. No Pakistan bowler has got a hat-trick in T20 cricket. So this will be a first. You know one thing, it'll be uh, pretty straight. He'll be zoning in on those stumps. And it'll be James Vince to take strike. 13 at a runner ball. We test this for James Vince. England obviously very keen to give him an opportunity to progress in this format. Just trying to hit perhaps further Ready. down the ground and leg side and just skidding on to Moen Alley. Classic Afridi. Many a captain do regard the sixth over as being a crucial one. In both these times, Afridi has come in himself in the sixth over and done the business. 
Yeah, he's searching for a boundary. James Vince at the moment is having to settle for singles. I'm going to say good call, good bit of fielding as well, and we will have a look. Instincts say with the dive he got home. You never know with a direct hit. Good work again from Pakistan. Their work in the field has been good. Hit it to Irfan and they ran, they know. It's not the swiftest of fielders that Pakistan have got. Looks in easily. Dive in the end, it's comfortably home. Make sure the bat stays down. The terrific from Afridi, the first real spin bowling on this pitch, and it's been difficult to get away. Six singles from the over, 57 for three. And a decision, I think, for Shade Afridi. Does he continue or does he just hold himself back? Gone up a long way, and it's travelled a fair distance too. Yes, all the way for six. Morgan has decided enough is enough. Does this so well. Comes down the wicket, and with that velocity, just drives into the shot. Throws all his weight behind that. That's fantastically hit. It's a very strong area for Owen Morgan. Something that Afridi has to think about, yeah, and he's uh, correcting the field or manoeuvring the field. He now has a long on in place. Not a big ground at all here at Sharjah. Siemens, again, that this pitch it's good for batting when the seamers are on, the ball is coming on to the bat. You play your shots. It was always going to be a test with the spinners in charger. So in the one day game, it spun a lot. Pakistan still have Shweb Malik to bowl, so that'll be the telling period. You can just see there, he's just moving around his eyes, looking around the field. He's thinking boundary, I think, here, James. It's where can I get my innings ticking? He's 16 for run a ball. Yeah. He's thinking, where can I get my boundary? He has to settle for yet another single. But the good thing is with the singles that he's getting Morgan back on strike. That's brilliant bowling. That's very, very good. Just followed him. Yep, followed him with his eyes as well in the end. Morgan likes dancing down the wicket. Fast bowler's response and a little bit of a stare to go with it.
Cleverly placed. And a couple for Morgan. Eleven runs from the over. We're through nine now. Sixty-eight for three. After ten overs, we've got an over to go. England was sixty-eight and sixty-seven in the first two games. So there are thereabouts, just ahead. Sharjah is a slightly smaller ground than uh, Dubai. The outfield is quite a bit slower. But obviously, boundaries uh, a little bit easier to come by. Certainly, sixes. Five fours and two sixes for England so far. Well, I said, I wonder what Freddy's going to do. He's decided that uh, I think probably the right thing to do as well, just hold back his two overs. So the experience showed Malik into the attack. Choice was, does he feel he can perhaps pick up another wicket of Freedy? He'll fancy doing that by bowling himself, but the threat of the two overs that are going to be held back now, he feels are more important. Probably right. Premalik has to bowl well here because just to back up that Afridi performance, put pressure back on England. Oh, yes, decision absolutely right. Not much turn, but enough turn. England captain playing on the back foot, and it's exactly what Pakistan needed. Almost a carbon copy of what happened in the one day game. He got bowled from Shreb Malik, particularly. That delivery, same delivery, and Shreb Malik loves it. First ball, first wicket. Morgan has to depart. 68 for four. Morgan gone for 15. for one becomes 68 for four enter to the fray Josh Butler remember this was the ground in the uh, third ODI where he suddenly rediscovered his touch and his form and he'd be up against a turning ball first ball really that's turned quite appreciably ah! and how about that just the, the reverse sweep to get him going And if you remember that one day game, it also started to spin a lot. It was a third ODI in Sharjah. It was the same kind of dismissal from Morgan. Butler got a few runs here, but he'll have his work cut out with spin. Slight misunderstanding, but okay in the end. Yeah, during that ODI, you're right. Just suddenly under lights. Remember, it was a day-night game, so the second innings was under lights. It suddenly turned appreciably. J James Taylor and Joss Butler played quite brilliantly to see England home. Oh, 
more term. Won't get away with this one. This is the we were talking about the two dismissals in the ODI, and then today perhaps a bit more term today. It looks like spinners will definitely have a say in this T20 and Shweb Malik. If he can produce four good overs, Pakistan will be right in the driving seat. off the surface, nothing you could do. Ah! Turn, no. He's pleading with the umpire, showed Malik. It buys to finish the over, an excellent over too. Five runs from it, we're through 10, 73 for four. Well, it's all happening for Pakistan since Shahid Afridi brought himself into the attack and then Shweb Malik. Now it's Irfan round the wicket. So he's mixing them up well. In the previous over, the last ball of that was a big appeal from Shweb Malik. He was very persistent, wanted uh, the result in his favor. Shout was good. Was there a bit of bat? Yeah, that does look close. I think uh, may have just got away with that one. Nicely driven. You get two for it. England's been good. As far as running between the wickets are concerned throughout the tour. Yeah, good innings this by James Vince. Exactly what they need. They need somebody to hold the innings together. Four down now. Ideally, you don't want to be losing too many more wickets before perhaps the last five or six overs. So it's crucial these guys get their heads together and get England to a good total. Just in the air for a while. Rizwan has a chance. This could be good. This could be close. Well, from the naked eye, it looked that Butler was struggling. And from the body language of Rizwan, he feels that he's got his man. Yeah, Josh Butler knew he lay on the ground knowing he perhaps had made an error. Certainly has proved to be a good piece of fielding there. Exactly, Pakistan's fielding coming to the fore here and getting them in the game. Good piece of fielding there. That's what changes games. Josh Butler will learn his fate there. There we go, out. England lose their fifth wicket. Exactly what they didn't want to happen. England 75 for five. Josh Butler has to go for two of three balls. England 75 for five. More talent. Sam Billings comes in. Wicket keeper batsman. May not be wearing the gloves today behind the stumps, but he has got a job on hand because England is now in some big trouble there. Half their side is back in the pavilion for 75. And uh, a big wicket. Joss Butler. Slight hesitation in taking off from the non-striker's end. And that has cost him a few inches. Yeah, I think there when you saw the ball, it bounced and it spun towards the keeper. I think Josh Butler thought the ball was a lot closer to the stamps and the keeper would have to run a further distance, but the ball spun towards the keeper and just going Pakistan's way here. 
He is asking a question. Pakistan is interested in every half a chance available. That ball moved away from Billings. Got that extra bounce as well. Yeah, sometimes he gets his wrist wrong. I'm not sure if that was intentional there, but sometimes it just comes down the side of him and creates this little bit of off spin, if you like, a little bit of a cutter. And there we go. Ball seems to be cropping a little bit, even though it's only just over 10 overs old. Plenty happening here for Pakistan. This is their time to capitalize. It's going to be a good test for these two young players. Vince in his third T20 game at Billings. Only playing a handful as well. Different situation. Vince has come in and, and played really well. And, but he's been part of big partnerships. Yeah, he's been at the crease and had a few wickets. Tumble next to him. How he's going to be able to handle that, the challenge. And also Billings has come in when the, the scores have been a, a lot higher. So coming in when you have to shepherd your teams a lot different to coming in when you have to finish in innings and go and run a ball. Another clever, slower one. 76 for 5 after 11. In no time, We've got all those wickets down. The important one is one Morgan, Joss Butler. A bit of panic in the England dressing room. Let's go back to an LBW shout a few overs back. Yeah, we certainly thought it was close looking at the uh, slow mo. Mm. Yeah, straight in, canning it in there to leg stump. Inside out, but will land safe between the two fielders. The boundary rider on the offside made his best effort to get to it only on the first bounce. Yeah, he plays a short well, just an extension of a cover drive. Hit it a little bit earlier on the up. One of his strengths. Just feel when Shahid Afridi is bowling in, in special another wide. They've just the pace of the game has just increased so much. And he's trying to keep up with it. They're losing wickets. With Shwe Malik. Yeah, I've been part of team meeting where he's spoken about Shadifid. He gets back to his mark so quickly that you actually almost have to stand, st step aside, have a look at the field, gather yourself a little bit and take a bit of time and push him back sometimes. Well done. Good wrist work from Vince. He's looked good in all the three T20s. Needs a partner here. Billings the man. I think with this pitch, it's a little bit slower. I don't think it's coming on as much as it was in Dubai. I think England perhaps have to readjust their targets. And, and say to themselves, yeah, we're seeing the ball skidding on a little bit. Some are turning. We saw Owen Morgan bowled with a beaut of a delivery. And they've got to perhaps readjust their target. I'm thinking on oh, the 140 mark, they can get there. These two have got to shepherd them. Hopefully past 100 and, and into the last five overs. Nicely driven for a single. Score moves to 83 for five.
12 overs have been bowled and Chayat Afrit these used six bowlers including himself just brought in Irfan for an over and now it's back to Anwar Ali Shahid Afidi ringing the changes. We saw a very good over from Shahid Malik getting the wicket of the England captain and straight away whips him out. Gets Ifan Fatana and he was a, 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 a good over. Saw the ball turning a little bit. Muhammad Ifan, I should say. And now again, Anwar Ali. So just keeping the England bats and not letting them settle. Pulls that one nicely in the gap as well. That'll go for four. Yeah, fantastic shot here, Sam Billings. Just a bit of pace on it. Lovely connection, lovely sound of the willow there in front of square. Player in form. That one banged into the wicket there from the bowler, trying to mix his length up. Well put away. Didn't try and overhit it. Well, well placed, well timed. He's standing outside his crease. He's trying to meet the ball early to this. Just trying to work out that slower balls and those cutters with Anwar Ali. In the air, top edge. This could be wicket number six. Two fielders under it. Oh, he's done well. He has done so well. Omar Akmal running backwards. He was sure he's going to get it. He called for it. And he's done the job. Yeah, fantastic catches. Took it upon himself. He was running with the ball. A lot easier for the man running in. Top edge there from Sam Billings, well played there. One up, oh, nearly popped out there. Clutching it against his chest, he managed to hold on there. Had to be careful again when his elbow hit the ground. Sam Billings has to go. Seven of eight in England, 86 for six. Eighty-six for six walks the new batsman. It's down to the bowlers now, but England bat deep. We all know that. It's a wins on strike. Nicely driven. That's a good shot. Easy two here. Chris walks. He's got a job on hand, and he can bat. Needs to stay there with Vince. He yeah, has only played the eight games, but vastly experienced. Played a fair few ODIs. We see this one. It's, it's not really a cross team, but it's a scrambled team. This wicket tends to be stopping a little. As this ball's getting older, the ball's going to stop more and more. Nice timing from James Vince again. Straight to the fielder this time. But something I've noticed, that especially first two games and here this evening, is I this manager doesn't try and play sort of T20 traditional shots. He plays the, the classical shots, but manages to time the ball. We've seen him through the covers prodigiously over the first two games and looking good this evening. Let me have a look there. Good, at a good rate as well. You know, pushing for a place there in the World Cup side. Gets good timing and goes hard at the ball as well. It drives off. Perhaps force in them. 88 for six. Just looking at the predicted scores here. Yeah. In the, the current rate. 135. I think they would take that at the moment being six down. I think with the loss of wickets, certainly will limit them with regards to how much they can try and accelerate towards the end of the innings, especially 
with this wicket and the way it's stopping the ball's getting older ball's taking a bit more turn Shaib Malik back into the attack 3D whipping himself off he knows he's going to perhaps have to save himself for the end of the innings Beauty. Looking at that bowling card again, the captain, 3D, pick of the bowlers. Three for four, three overs, two for 14, standing up when his team needs him. Oh, he missed that. Change of length as well. Saw him coming down. I've got Trotty reading his mind. Told me he's going to play that shot. 90 for six. England need this partnership. Need wins to bat till the end. He's not getting that ball right. He's pitching on the leg and moving further down. It's not the first time Shweb Malik. Let's try to fire into the pads. Yeah, certainly seeing a lot more turn than we did in Dubai. I'm going to go to bat accordingly. Got to bat out the overs here. a good over 92 for six after 14 Another change in bowling. So he's bowled Irfan, Anwar Ali, and now Sohail Tanvir. An overreach from this end, and he's sharing the ball on the other end with Shoaib Malik. Well, ball not providing any weight, wants to keep walks on strike. <laughs> Selena Jetley, have you watched uh, in the movies and you got Zaire Abbas? Upish, but safe, and he's played that deliberately over that fielder for four. Yeah, Chris Weiss giving himself a little bit of room here. I think it first couple of deliveries to the over, he realized that Tanvir's trying to cramp him up, but this gives himself back to a little bit, gives himself that room that he needs to free his arms. And he well timed.
15 dot balls for wins. He's got 10 singles, six twos. It's been tough rotating strike. Wins is no different. He's feeling the pressure because he's been watching the wickets fall from the other end. Look at those dot balls, the ones in red. There were various options. He could have pulled that, then uh, just <laughs> elevate that or a third man, and eventually it's a wide. He had all the time in the world to think three different shots. That's how slow it was. Yeah, he wants to pull it, then he decides, let's play a ramp shot. <laughs> <laughs> but lack of pace. So five overs and five different bowlers. He's also working for Shahid Afridi. That's when he has to adjust. To different kinds of pace and a bit of spin also, as you said. Seeing a little more spin than Dubai. It's really slowing it down. 100 up for England with that single. 15 overs gone. And a bit of a pickle. 100 for six. Five overs to go. Vin's still there, 27. What do you think, projected 150 if they're lucky? Oh, yeah, we'll take that, 150, 140 maybe. Gotcha. A bit more drift. He's done it again, Afridi. Terrific bowling into his final over now. Two for 15, no damage. Yeah, and I think he came on when England were cruising. Only eight for one. We've seen that a little bit more, as we did in the ODI. A little bit more turn as the game goes on. And no big overs for England in this game. Little Google. There's seven fours and two sixes in the innings. And there's some grounds in India. This is what we're going to get, isn't it? In the World T20 Association. Good for both sides. Oh, There's just no width. He doesn't bowl with any width when he bowls way. Tacks the stumps. Good again. England just having to settle for singles. And he's got a, a really good change of pace. He's got a quicker delivery and then he hangs one up there. So this is his final delivery. Excellent from Afridi. Gotcha! Lobbed into the air. It's safe. And another single. The freed is finished. 16 overs have gone. It's 105 for six. That'll please England. At least the freed is bowled out exceptional again. He's been very animated throughout the evening. Shahid Afridi is desperate to avoid this being 3 0. And he's leading from the front. Good in the last game. Good tonight. Well, the faster bowlers are going to have to be uh, a little bit clever. 
stay where you are. Cuts out the bag. <laughs> oh, bold. Round the wicket. No real pace, but effective. Yeah, that's my point, really. It just, it, what you don't want is the pace. You want the pace to work with if you're a batsman as a bowler. <laughs> He's prowling. Go on, mate. On you go. How do you know it's a he? Oh, I'm just guessing, really. <laughs> oh, I volley all the way. Six pennies. Yeah, that's the thing with the extra pace. You can actually hit through the line of the ball. He'll be frustrated with himself because it was a full pacey delivery. It's got to be cutters now, varying your pace. Oh, absolutely in the slot. Super smashing plate. Fine leg comes inside the circle, third man drops back. Slow ball. Scramble here, England. Well, you mentioned he just aims at the stumps. Quite quickly. Can drop his pace. Seven foot one ball in little spinners. <laughs> You'll be about ninety eight miles an hour. Bit of confidence, love it. I love him here. England are six down, but they're still batting. Yeah, sure it is. Rashid, 11. York, but it's punched out. He's done well, hasn't he, James Vince? I mean, he might feel that he's perhaps not been at his fluent best. Perhaps that's got something to do with the surface, but stuck it out. 30 from 36, whilst wickets have been falling at the other end. Just uh, on the way up here, and they need to finish well. 145, maybe. Well, we're coming to the end of the 17th. Target now would be 150. Well, pretty well, Pakistan. In the air, slower ball, three fielders converge. Oh, another drop. Sack the juggler. Yeah, what can you say? What can he say? Shake of the head says it all. 117 for six.
Well, we see it time and time again. Barlow will be so frustrated is exactly what he wanted from Wokes. Wokes has no timing, plays the ball far too early. It should just have been taken. Whether he's put off by the fielder coming in, Shazad, I don't know, but it should have been taken again. Jeez, it's cost them in this series. I think you're right. You've got to get them fielders out of the way. A real strong call. It's a practice thing. Three of them converging, and you're bound to be looking just out the corner of your eye. Where are they? Get them out the way. Reprieve then for walks. Three overs left. One, one, seven for six. Amor Ali now. Three overs. This is his final over, one for 19, good figures. Bit scatter gun at the end. They've got three overs here. They're in a good position, Pakistan. England six down. Oh, that's gone. Oh, that has gone. Look out in the crowd. <laughs> it's only a small ground, but I think they might have gone for six on most grounds. BT blow, yeah. Someone's going to have to go and fetch that. New balls, please. Oh, it's absolutely in the slot, is this? Nailed it. Where's it going? Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Four sixes now for England. Seven fours. Thirty-seven from thirty-one is this partnership. Walks handy. Twenty-six from eighteen. Bob Old would come back. Safe to set up sore. Good take, but it's a wide. Extra ball for England. I think he was trying to bowl a slow ball. He's just having a bad five minutes. Drop catch. Six now wide. Field, field changes again. Sixes and sevens, they don't really know what's going on here. They've got there in the end. That's good. Yeah, it's good. And it's good from the Freedy as well. All the field is back on the edge in a circle it just gives you a guide from a freedy that he thinks they're in charge he thinks that 125 for six this stage of the game his side are in control 
Hard to argue with him, but England can finish well, get up to around 150, then I think it's a reasonable score. Need a couple of boundaries in this over. They've got eight from three deliveries. Ooh, well bowled again. Batsman thinks himself unlucky there. Well, he's coming back well, Omar Ali, after his start to this over, hit for six, only nine from the over, two deliveries. Always gets this. What a shot that is. Just about reached it. Six more. And the perfect tonic for England. They said 150. They're on uh, course to get perhaps a little bit more than that. Particularly if Wokes keeps finding the middle of the bat. Beautiful shot. Well, what about the poise in the shot? It's so wide. And you'll check again how low he is when he hits this. Almost on his knees. would come back with a full Yorker leg stump. But 16 from the over for England, 18 have been ball, 133 for six. Worth another look at that extraordinary shot, it's so wide. I mentioned how low he gets, he's on his knee. Screams into the crowd. Bully of a shot from Chris Walks. And you can't beat a bit of bully. Super smashing great. Did Jim pop, pop in then, didn't he? He just popped That's in, funny. Jim. He does from time to time, doesn't he? Where he comes from. Good crowding now. Built since the start of the game. England coming strong at the end. 133 for six, two overs to go. This partnership now, 47 from 37. James Vince, 31 from 38. Chris Walks, 34 from 21. Just placed. Oh, he got to go, got to go, gets there. Very good run. Outfield is really slow. Good first run, good turn, and knew that as soon as it was a bounce throw, it was going to stop in the surface. Slow ball. It's not really the ground to throw it in. A lot of the guys throw it in on the bounce, but on this outfield, it just stops. Fifty partnership, of which James Vince has only eight. They're just going okay, England. Yeah, yeah I reckon one fifty-ish might just be a good score. Pulled away into the leg side. Fielder there. Goes for four. 
I think he's played really well, James. We say, look at the score now and think, course, it's been frustrating, 35 from 39, but he hasn't given it away. It's been a support act throughout the partnerships. And importantly, still there to try and get England up around 155, 160 in these last few overs. Shown uh, but he's been around a little while playing T20 cricket. James Vince played really well. With 18 and a half overs, he's only faced 39 deliveries. Yeah, exactly, and he hasn't got frustrated. See more and more of that tactic from the quick bowlers get it very, very full and just inside that guideline. It's because of ramp and ramp shot. All the players play it so well and fine legs up on the circle, so a lot of cover leg side. There you go, fine legs up, so they're worried that batsmen to find that area of the ground. Well, what's gone on there? <laughs> There's an appeal, there's nearly a run out, and there's no run. But that, that's, the, that's what he's trying to do, he's trying to counter the field that are freely set. I reckon he's hit that, hasn't he? Is it sure he's hit that? Nah, pad. Oh, it's his pad. pad. Yeah, pad. Oh, there's another, there's another fielder out there, but it's in the crowd. And another big over, 13 runs from it, 146 for six. And just uh, full pace, got to think, take the pace off. Finally gets a boundary. Twenty-nine then for England off the last two. Finally got the partnership. Root played well for his thirty-two. Moin Ali out first ball. Jason Roy out first ball. Tanvia will bowl this final over then. England have recovered. They were eighty-six for six. It's one four six for six. Lots of slower deliveries here. High in the air, mid wicket steadies himself. There's nobody near him. Take the catch, and he does. He's got a very good pair of hands, needed to take it. Does take, yeah, frustration for Wokes, but he's played a really good hand for his team. Just giving them a chance, just giving them some impetus at the back end of the innings. Straightforward catch, should have been taken, was. And Wokes has done well for England. 37 from 24, 146 for seven. Slower ball to the same field, a one bounce brings David Willey on strike. Lots of field changes for David Willey. And he'll be looking round and almost second guessing, well, what's it going to be? 
fine leg inside the circle. Well, they get a single, which brings Vince back on strike. It's the last ball of the last over, so that meant England were 13 from that 19th over. This is a good over so far for Pakistan. A wicket and two singles. Now then, Captain. Oh, that's all it needs, a touch, a tickle, and it's gone for four. England, 1-5-2. Yeah, bat via pad, I think. But clever batting from Vince. He could be very, very pleased with his effort. He'll probably say after the game, he wasn't anywhere near his best, but it's a good hand. Nose fine leg is up, so that's the shot on. Just gets it away. Well, you look at the card. Vince at the top, it's a good job he has played as he did. He got two deliveries left, 152 for seven. Oh, he's got that, he's waited for it, fielder out there, straight to him. Oh, and he isn't dropping that, full of confidence. Good catch. We saw him take a really good catch. I think it was Sam Billings in the last game. He's got an excellent pair of hands. This time, pace off the ball. And not quite the middle of the bat. Frustration for James Vince, who's played so well. Yeah, good work in the deep, Umar Akmal. England have 150, thanks to this man, James Vince. 46 today from 45, 152 for eight. Last ball, Davy Willey winds up, but it'll just be a couple. Chris Jordan's coming back. Willie's got to put his skates on and he manages it. 154 for eight. Fifty-four in the last five then for England. They've got a bit of a chance, but Pakistan will be fancying this also. Yeah, just keep an eye on them. They look a little bit disappointed. I think it could have been a lot better. Perhaps should have been a lot better. One or two drop catches. But it's a pretty good score. It's going to take a, a pretty good batting performance from Pakistan here. And they haven't batted particularly well in the series so far. They've chased on two previous occasions and unsuccessfully. 46 for James Vincent. Out right at the end of the innings, Joe Root enterprising with 32, fell away a little bit England, 86 for 6 at one stage, recovered to 154 for 8. One for 12 for Yamin, great start for him, Tanvir with a couple of wickets, but look at the captain yet again, backing up his performance in the last game, he's got three wickets today, two for 19, stand out. Pakistan need to go at 7.75 runs and over. Little break, back in 10. Rafatullah Mamanda been given another go at it. His partner is uh, Emma Shazad, who needs to crack it on as well. Good talent, Emma Shazad, but uh, off late has been just a wee bit inconsistent. Average of uh, 27, strike rate over 100, which is good. Best of triple one. David Willey, left arm fast medium from the pavilion end. Five wickets in four matches. High economy, almost 10. 
gets it to uh, come back. Right then, we've got a slip, point, cover, mid-off, and three on the leg side. In the ring, that is. It's people to settle down behind the uh, side screen. Of activity. There's a little break of about seven minutes. People still walking in with a cup of tea. England have set Pakistan 155 to win this. Angle in, that's worked away nicely. What a way to get off the mark. He'll get a four. Just erring on the leg stump and nicely put away with his wrist. Yeah, great start for Shazadia. Yeah, just what he would like a little tickle off his legs there, a little bit of shake there. But David Willey flies away. Looks as if the outfield's a little bit quicker than the test match. He comes to Sharjah, you expect to be a little bit slower than with the field outfields you get around the world. But certainly, England players certainly were able to get it across the boundary. Made him hurry this time. England will soon realize that seam up deliveries are not going to make a lot of impact. The cutters would do the job on this, uh, on the Sharjah strip. With on, on surface, looks a pretty decent one, but I think it has a, a lot of roughness. If you get the off cutters and leg cutters going, you are in the game. Yeah, well, this is my first trip to Sharjah. When you speak to a lot of players who've played here, they say there used to be a sheen, you used to be able to almost see your reflection in the, the pitch, and the ball used to skid on a lot more than it's doing at the minute. Crucially, for England, they need a good start. We saw the last T20. Pakistan got off to a flyer. England managed to reel them back in, taking wickets and some good fielding. Crucial start. Yeah, be a good test for the England bowlers. Well, that's way down the leg side. It's a wide. Conditions uh, are a little cool. Should enjoy the uh, the atmosphere, but uh, got to aim it from the stumps, from that off stump angle. Get it in, hit the pads. They had a good beginning in the last game, 51 between the two. Pakistan got a good platform, but then wasted the uh, the podium. A lot of their uh, top order got uh, 20s and then got out. He's gone. Bold. Ideal start for England. Pakistan lose Emma Shazad. Not a great shot. He can be temperamental and at times just lose the focus. Doesn't look as if it's done a great deal, that ball. Perhaps trying to hit it a little bit too hard, losing his shape. We saw in the last game he actually managed to time a few nicely. Got it. Pakistan after a good start. Not today. Pakistan lose their first wicket. Shazad goes for four. Pakistan five for one. I think Empire just had a word with the bowler. And his follow through is um, just a little over expressive, I think. But he's all pumped up. This is a solid blow delivered by England. Yeah, just what they would want. All the momentum, the first 10, 12 overs was with Pakistan and with that partnership of Vincent Wokes. Got England back and taking the advantage now. Certainly trying to ram it home. Yeah, wicked in the first over. Crucial start. Yeah, get a new batter in. David Willey there, very explosive player, wears his heart on his sleeve. Passionate England player, good to see. Hafiz is in early, so what's new? 
68 matches. Watch out for a run out here, folks. <laughs> He's absolutely terrible between the wickets. And he, he blames the others. I had a quite chat to him. He said, not my issue, not my problem. I'm always right. I said, what? This clearly was not his fault. Very iffy up front. They are taking a lot of risk and missing the line, the flight of the ball. Did him in with a bit of an angle. David Willey, they're very excited. Umpire perhaps correctly, they're having a little word with him saying just calm down. All been played in walls. Good spirit this game. The series, in fact, the whole series has been really, really good. Down the leg side, it's another misfire. And he's uh, a wee bit frustrated. Not an ideal ball to bowl after getting a wicket. It's all about maintaining pressure, isn't it? Yeah, you want to be on the money straight away, creating the pressure. Certainly, when you only got 120 deliveries here, as we see that shot again. This thing, Shazad, is such a good timer of the ball. He doesn't try and have to over get it, especially with the new ball. Ball seems to skin on a little bit until it gets a bit older. More of a test for the keeper than the batsman. Yeah, it's been a real mixed bag, hasn't it? Wicked and. Quite a few extras. First ball of the innings on the leg side like that. We want to just perhaps settle down. Get a few more where that wicket was taken from. Hit the area. Looks to be a little bit of invariable bounce there for the bowler. Oh, uh, he'll have to re-ball it. It's a hat trigger wise, and well, he doesn't know what's happening. It's a sheepish smile, a little embarrassed. Yeah, just asking the empire how many left. It's one to go. He's probably sucking in that oxygen. He's thinking, how many more is this to go? Yeah, lost count a few ago, but crucially finishes off well here. You take eight for one as a bowling side, especially with these wides. And it's a good delivery. And it's driven through the offside. Hafiz is off the mark. Once again, bit of hesitation and gone! <laughs> Pakistan, nine for two. They can't believe it, and it's happened again. This is unbelievable. Well, Ramiz, you called it this time. Hafiz is the man. It doesn't look as if he's going here. He hits the ball, sets off. Was, looked as if it was only one. The slow outfield there. Hafiz goes. I'm not quite sure there who got back first. Again, umpires are still checking. The two batsmen are still in the middle. But the England players probably would have known Hafiz came in straight away. There's a chance for a run out. They've taken their first opportunity. It's not happening again, but it has. Just figuring out who is out. Hafiz is out there once again, caught in the act. Just ridiculous piece of running, stuttering, and and, and then just running aimlessly. Uh, they, they still wait, await the result of this uh, absolutely ordinary running between the stumps. For me, sometimes you, you put it down to not having batted with a person before, but I think you, you saw it in the test matches where Hafiz is, it's happening as they're checking out. This thing they're checking Owen Morgan's, where they had the ball in his hand. Yeah, that looks fine to me. I think they're checking uh, when the bells actually came off who was further or past the other batsman. To me, it looks as if Hafiz is probably the batsman to go here. But it's not as if he's batting with what's happening with batters that he hasn't played with before. We saw in the test matches with their runouts with, with other teammates he's been playing loads of test matches with. But again, it's happened. <laughs> this is a great picture, this. Because I, I know they'd be seething, really, but they're not showing any emotions now. Who is out here? I'd For me, that's Hafiz. Hafiz has got to go here. So he deserves, Trotty.
Well, the third umpire surely taking his time. Still uh, looking to locate who is out. Letting the umpires know the decision of the third umpire. England can wait, be quite happy with the situation. Yeah, they haven't crossed. Afiz has got to go here. Afiz has been asked to leave. Thank you for coming. Pakistan, nine for two, is gone for one, run out. Is this a self-destruct button? Pakistan, nine for two. A fee is run out. Run out for one. For the umpteenth time, is a diabolical runner. Such an important player. Bats at number three. Bats gloriously when he's in touch. Superb batsman, but doesn't know how to run. Doesn't know how to call. Yeah, looks a fine player, but the detriment of the side sometimes we saw another run out there we saw plenty in the series so far over the, over the last month or so let's look at it again here if he sets off it or for Tula certainly thinking too but it's just communication or lack of he's getting on a bit Mohammed Afiz and uh, obviously he's not as um, as athletic as he thinks he is. Stuttering, stopping, then taking off for that second impossible single. Wasn't there, his partner was, was struggling as well. Big communication lapse. Yeah, certainly when you're playing or batting with a, a partner who've only, who's only played three games, or this is his third game, you certainly want, you want to keep his nerves as low as possible. Another chance of a run out. No. It's beautifully done at mid wicket. Moin Ali with a full length dive. Yeah, Just England been good in the field, haven't they? They've suddenly taken their chances and created a lot of pressure. But when Hafiz came to the wicket, you sort of straight away were on it. You said, there's a run out opportunity. I was leaning towards giving him the benefit of the doubt. But Ramiz, you're proven right and you even got it to give him a TFC there. I've uh, watched this display for many a years, Trotty. I know the DNA. Seen it happen so many times. TFC and to have a bit of KFC, I guess, now. For Mohamed Hafiz. <laughs> That's where England are, are so impressive. They'll make it tough for Pakistan. They're covering the angles. They're fielding well. Pressure is on Pakistan. Nine for two. What was supposed to have been an easy target to chase down. They've made it tough once again. Yeah, we saw in the first over, Chris Jordan diving to his right there. David Willey stopping there. We've already seen two diving stops this over. So England going well. They've got the two early wickets, but they're keeping the pressure on. Not taking that foot off at all. It's a good ball to bowl to Shred Malik. Shot of length stuff. Yeah, we saw in the one day comp Chris Wokes was very 
successful with his short delivery. See that shot? He had a court, few caught down a fine leg and deep square leg and long on. Seems as though, especially in shards, the ball tends to stick in the wicket a little bit. Tries to use that slower bounce and the off cutter. Didn't look too convincing, but the pinch a single. England off to a very good start here. Ten for two after two. David Willey to continue, second over. That means I'm trying to think of a more eventful first over in a match I've ever seen. We had five wides, four of the first ball. Suicidal run out and a running down the wicket and a bit of a mo. Lots of dots for Rafatullah playing his first T20 series. Hardly any boundaries. And now, under pressure, obviously, two wickets down Pakistan. They need a, a solid knock from him. <laughs> That's gone fine. The appeal is. Well, England have got another one. It was a strong appeal. He pushed himself across the stumps. And it's a golden duck for Rafatullah Mahmand. There was no bat involved. There was this ball hitting the pad, and uh, you could see his middle and uh, and leg stump there when uh, that ball hit his pad. Yeah, for me, definitely hitting. But whether it pitched in line, I just have to check that with the whole car. But Pakistan living, losing their third wicket. Yeah, Pakistan are wobbling. Rafatul has to go out first ball. Pakistan, eleven for three. Eleven for three, Rizwan is the new man in. Looking at uh, the wreckage caused by England, you'd say that they bowl well. It, it, it isn't exactly the case. Pakistan have been woeful, running between the wickets and, uh, and the way they've got out. An extremely soft start, soft beginning. Pish within would have gone on to hit the stumps. Good decision, very good call by the umpire. Yeah, David Willey, a little bit more swing there. A little bit of nip as well. Got his line right. A little word with himself. Trent Chris Wokes is over there. Straight on the money. First ball. Well, that's solid. And some relief at last. Pleasant shot to get off the mark. It's a force with the offside. Yeah, you could tell straight away when the ball left the bat, the sound made straight away. Just throws his hands through. A little bit of width on offer there from William. Gladly accepted first ball there from Wizwan. Nice extension of the arms and uh, finding the gap through the cover area.
It'll be interesting to see whether he's taking a start at the non-strikers end or not, Shweb Malik. He's pretty static, hardly moving. Nine runouts on this tour. And uh, Mohamed Hafiz is the man of the match award winner. Five runouts contributed by Hafiz. Got out twice himself, and uh, twice he was involved in a runout situation. Five runs from that over and a wicket. 15 for three. First bowling change for Owen Morgan. Chris Wokes whipped out of the attack. Chris Jordan, first over for him. It can be quick. And that's not a bad start. A little bit of width in Shreb Malik. Possibly beaten by a bit of pace and fire. Yeah, if there's a little bit of swing, Chris Jordan does exploit it. He has got a good wrist. Hasn't got the most bustling of run-ups. Jogs up to the crease. A lot of strong shoulder action here. Joe Root there, doing his best impression there of Chris Jordan. He's a good athlete, good all-round cricketer, lightning fast in the field. Right arm fast medium, talking about uh, high 130s. Yeah, burst on the scene, Surrey, and then had a, a few injuries, back injuries have plagued him early on, and then very good move for him down to Sussex. Spearheaded the attack down there and progressed into the England side. Final round cricketer. Just looking out of sorts against pace, Shred Malik. Yeah, that ball, 140 kilometers an hour. I just want to ask you, Ramiz, with the squad and Pakistan being so good in the test format, especially in Dubai, do you feel perhaps with the squad, are you happy with the squad, how it's sort of put together? Are there a few players? I certainly think there could be a few players, but do you think there are a few players that should be added or could perhaps help out, and especially the one-day game? Well, that's beautifully done. Square through the offside. Shreb Malik making room and getting a four. Yeah, fantastic shot here from Shai Malik, using his feet, using the pace of Chris Jordan and opening up the offside here. Time nice, he heard it off the bat again, good sound, the ball's nice and hard, just off the top of middle and off there, crashed away. Answer to your question, I'd rather have Babar Azam in there from that 50 overs team because I, I thought he was pretty classy and can manage middle order diligently. The problem is that uh, a couple of these youngsters, uh, Slade Maksud, including Rizwan, didn't pick Adil Rashid at all in the in the series. Slade Maksud in the last game didn't pick his wrong one. That's a, that's a serious worry because they bat in the middle and they should be good against spin. Got to read them off the palm. It's a natural thing. You're naturally trained to do that in, in subcontinent. But um, Slade Maksud also is not a great sweeper of the ball. 
And unless you produce those two shots, that inside out drive probably against Spain and, and the sweep shot, you'd not be a, a great success on these pitches. So Pakistan clearly have a problem. Get uh, Babar Azam in because uh, he showed a bit of flair and class. Rizwan will always look busy. And so at the end of the fourth, we've got 21 for the loss of three. for the loss of three after four overs England putting up 154 for the loss of eight at one stage they were in a very difficult situation even to get to 130 but they batted well and it was uh, smooth sailing uh, for a lot of a uh, lot of time in the last few overs they batted intelligently got to 150 plus yeah I certainly think Vince certainly should be given a lot of credit for the way he played opening the batting if you look at the charge of bustling area here surrounding the ground cards filling in you after work I would say probably perhaps three quarters full rode the bounce well was one played it away for a run it's an iconic stadium we're talking about Hosting 219 one-day matches, most at any centre. Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Uh, that's the aerial shot. It's a very uh, earthy cricket stadium. You're on top of the action. There's a lot of noise and buzz, and you want to be on on top of the action if you've. Uh, if you come to watch one day cricket and that's why it's a splendid venue for limited overs cricket yeah it certainly has the traits of a sort of oldish stadium a real traditional stadium yeah even the media center's open air there's no air conditioning for the the ones tapping away on their laptops but uh you feel as if you're on top of the ground. It's a real good atmosphere, real good buzz, really noisy. The players certainly I think enjoy playing here. Certainly with the amount of ODI cricket that's been played here, the real history behind the ground as well. Just coming back to that selection, Ramiz, I just feel Pakistan, you've got a strike bowler, world-class bowler in Yasser Shah. I'm not quite sure why he's not playing for your national team. I know he's away at Bangladesh Premier League. I also feel, watching the test matches, watching him back for quite some time. Asad Shafiq, a really, really good player. How come he's not necessarily in T20 cricket, but how come he's not in the one-day side? I would, uh, I would have the leg spinner in any time because um, I come from that era where we introduced a lot of leg spin bowling. We had, in fact, two leg spinners in Abdul Qadir and Mushtaq Ahmed and it worked wonders for us. Because uh, you give yourself a chance to pick wickets and that's what it is. This game is about picking wickets if you're a bowling side, whether you're playing T20 or 50 overs cricket. So I'll certainly have another look at uh, Yasser Shah. into the gap. Shreb Malik will come back easily for the second. Hope so. Yeah. There's no Hafiz, so we are safe. It's 20 
Six for the loss of three. Oh, well fielded. Oh, they're off again. Hesitancy in the running. Pakistan do it again off to a poor start. But um, again, just think that in Pakistan bowl, the spinners are very effective. India will need the spinners to bowl well. Now, backward point there, there's a real opportunity for a shy at the stumps. I think it's Jason Roy and he gets a great bounce and fumbles it. There would have been a problem. Just love to have seen Paul Collingwood's face there. Think about Collingwood. Just in that position, backward point, he got a great bounce. Slice down to third man for four. Base on offer, and when it hits the edge, it flies away. Bowling wheels, Jordan is just a little bit of width, and he threw his hands at it. Gets a boundary. Short and pulled away, four more. Very quick on that short ball, is one. A wicket keeper, quick on his feet, just a little swivel pull. It's raced away. Ten from the over. Bit of stair time. Into the sixth over in Pakistan, just getting a little bit of momentum. These two getting into their stride. After the initial three wickets, Pakistan rebuilding. And that'll be four more. This is an excellent over for Pakistan. 14 from it. 40 for three. Just saw an opportunity in this over of another run out. Jason Roy is at backward point. I think he gets a great bounce here. And he just looks up. Instead of gathering the ball, he looks up. There's not a batsman in sight. You get somebody like Paul Collingwood, or if you want to go just a little bit more, Jonty Rhodes. Right, bit of spin. Power play is finished after six overs. England were 48 for three. Pakistan after that excellent over there for them, 40 for three. Really poor delivery from Jordan. Tried the slow one, but way outside leg and way too short. Rashid starts with a Google.
this will be the crucial part of the inning where Rashid is bowling. She, the one front of the hand, but Rashid goes well. It's a small ground and Pakistan should take him on. Good raid, Bumbo. <laughs> a saving fielder out there. Power play is finished, so the field is relaxed. Leg side is well protected at deep backward square, deep mid wicket, and deep long gone. Really good over the last one for Pakistan. Leg side again. It's wide open for ones and twos. You can have ones and twos. But England are looking to protect that leg side boundary for Rashid. Second T20, Rashid bowled very, very well. Got a couple of wickets, bowled that wrong one really well. Good cluster. Pakistan applied the pressure with this one as a Freedy getting a wicket and Shreb Malik. Just not the same amount of turn in that first four deliveries from Rashid. Oh, way! There you go. First four deliveries, not a lot of turn, but this one goes a bit. Ah! Swept into the leg side, but it bounces a couple of times before deep backward square leg. Seven from the over, good over from Rashid, 46 for three. England at this stage, 51 for three. Yet another comical run out. It's not a great place for Pakistan. In T20, the win average 42%. Outside UAE, win average 66%. 2 0 down in this series. They need 109 from 78. More spin. Spin for Moin Ali. And these eight overs with the spinners bowling. Go a long way in defining the game for England. Oh! Sharp spin. You're given a wide. A plenty of spin. Saw this in the ODI here and in the first innings. Of this T20, the spinners. Again, ball spinning viciously for Moin Ali. England would want a few wickets from their spinners. Plenty of turn then for Moy. Touch into the leg side. Saw a lot of sixes and big hits at the back end of the innings. 
And this is a small ground, so defending at the end would be difficult. Oh! But with spin like that, England will fancy themselves. Moin Ali really getting it to tweak. Swept into the leg side. Good over from Moin Ali. Four from it. 50 for three. Splendid trophy. So England have won that, they've got to get it back. Good! Yeah! Oh, what a catch! What a catch! Well, it looks like they're standing still and not quite believing what's happened. Rashid throws it up immediately. Lovely leg spinner. There's one getting the leading edge when he came down the track. A bit of a conversation with the umpires. And Rashid looks completely confident. Soft dismissal from the umpires. They think it's out. Oh, straight in. Fabulous effort. Two finger job. Fantastic catch from Rashid. It just nestles in his fingers. Look there. Straight in. What a strange looking shot that is in super slow motion. Look at it real time. Well, I think that's pretty conclusive. He's underneath that. Big deliberations here. Stays out. I think eventually they've arrived at the right decision. And the third umpire wanted to see lots of slow motion. I really think you should see a lot of that stuff in real time. Rizwan's gone for 24, 50 for four.
Well, Umar Akmal fielded brilliantly. He's now got to bat brilliantly. In Pakistan, a 50 for four. Yet again, one of these catches that is close to the ground and the camera doesn't half give you a bad angle. I really don't think that we see this real time often enough. Watch it real time. Good. Yeah. Look at that. Just looked out straight away when it in real time, and then the deliberations. But the soft signal from the umpires was out, so it stayed with the umpires. Good. Yeah. Looks. Uh, a really good catch, but good piece of bowling as well from Rashid. Leg spinner, spinning the leg spin. This one not getting to the pitch. It is good spin. They should enjoy it, the two England spinners, the inexperienced chaps. Be good for them in these conditions. You know, with these catches like that, it's very difficult to explain because a lot of people will see what they want to see. Look at this, straight on. Out. You can't tell me anything different. And then you get the shortening of the camera, ultra slow motion, googly there, and then there's doubt. That You just mentioned it, both umpires, the soft dismissal was that they thought that was out the two on the field close to it yeah they reckon it was out and in real time it did look out just straight away no. but good bowling from Adil Rashid 52 for four at the end of nine so Pakistan need 103 from 66 Required rate is 9.36. There's one man we haven't talked about. The captain, the Freedy. Just had a visitor into the commentary box. Bollywood actress came in to see me. Selena Jaita came in to see me. Bumble, she said, how are you doing? No. Selena, I said, I won't be long, I'll just finish this stint. This period of spin bowling will be crucial and... <laughs> See, she's gone now. <laughs> Just feel at the back end of the innings, the last five overs or so. Defending runs won't be easy because it's a small ground and Pakistan have big hitters. Outside the line. Sharp spin. Impact is outside the line, I'm sure. It's probably missing. Going down the leg side. Look at his spin. Excellent over from Moin Ali. 55 for four. Troy Mullet gives the charge. That's the first good looking shot, convincing shot. Troy Mullet gets maximum. Pakistan adds valuable six to the score. 
Yeah, he's looked at the scoreboard and said we're 20 behind or 15 behind, so need to just make up now. Can't leave it all till boom, boom, Afridi comes in. It's the first time we've seen Pakistan batsmen giving charge to Adil Rashid. They prefer to play from deep within the crease. Yeah. Oh, in the air, but safe. That required run rate is just creeping up to 10 and over. A bit of extra spin compared to the bye. Yeah, yeah. Pressure on these two, isn't it, Rashid and Moen, in these middle overs? And that's why they're going at Rashid a little bit now. Well, well in the last game. Sixty-five for four. play Stephen Parry in this game I looked at the wicket and thought perhaps we should but with the rotation policy that seems to be in place it's his game off you need a good catch to dismiss Umar Akmal he's a good fielder he would have loved it but not probably on his own wicket I was just expecting that probably a little more patience from him, but he had to go for those. Pakistan needed those boundaries. Well, he's such a talented player. His wicket is always absolutely crucial. We see that time and time again from Chris Jordan. He's so athletic. He's very three-dimensional. Good in the field. Had to be for that catch. Hackman misses out today. Four from nine. 65 for five and in trouble. The noise, the music, because the man is out there, the captain. Even if Pakistan's 65 for five, so what? They love it when he walks in. They have expectations. He hasn't got long to get himself in either. Fly rate is nearly 10 and a half. Brilliant catch. Very good in the outfield. Chris Jordan.
just watching that shot from Omar Akmal on field every one time and again talks about his talent that he possesses. Just the execution part of it has been missing. It's been a while since he's won a game for the side. Today was a golden opportunity for him, a set for him. Now, Shahid Afridi on strike. Moin Ali, what's it going to be? Almost. He just managed to reach that. For a second, I thought it's going to be the keeper's job. That's an excellent bit of bowling, I think. If we see it again, I think he saw him coming. I think he fired it wide to try and beat the outside edge. And just getting back on it. Sixty seven for five. So I wonder how important that innings of Vince will prove to be at the moment. It's looking like a real gem of an innings, not uh, numerically because it's just 46, but the way he held the England innings together, just maybe helping England get up to 154. Lots of work to do then for Pakistan, two uh, experienced players at the crease. Long, something very special from here. There's no idea about this one. It's brilliant bowling. Loves the googly really well. Gets a little bit of turn from the googly. But when he's getting his leg spinner to turn like that, it's very difficult. He's got hold of it. Even a miss hit will cross. He's got that power. Rare full toss from Adil Rashid. Yeah, I'm absolutely right. Bob so well in the last couple of games, but afraid he's just not going to miss out. Juicy full toss. Small ground. And he's off and running, Afridi. So he's not going to get it. This way, probably give it a charge. Good call, Shweb Malik. Single. That's the way to do it. And what we're seeing is the advantage of a leg spinner. Especially when you first come in, you're not quite sure which, where it's turning, so you tend to stay at home. Might be different for Malik, who's been in for 31 deliveries. Oh, oh, we're back. Yeah, it is different. He's been in long enough to use his feet and feel comfortable with the way the ball is turning. Needed that to pretty good over as well. 11 runs from it. We threw 13, 78 for five.
Spinners have done well when the quicks got the wickets. Spinners have made sure they don't give away anything extra. In fact, they've been getting wickets. That's the last ball. He absolutely smashed that. No time for Adil Rashid to actually get a hand to it. And try Dafridi this time. That's his shot. It's gone a long way. That's nearly out of the stadium. I think it hits the roof. Well, he has no choice. A required rate is up above 10. Try and hit as many sixes, go with the spin. It's a little bit more simple for him against Mo and Ali because he knows which way it's turning and he goes with the spin. Shahid Afridi is going to put in everything. That's his last appearance in the UAE, probably. He's, he's. But Pakistan will probably play next year, end of next year, in this region. That was a big six. I don't know if he loves hitting them more or the crowd enjoys it more than him. That's from the Dubai game, where he went after all the ballers. But quick fire runs Shahid Afridi. Got Pakistan within reach. Boundaries are full of deliveries over Yorker as well. Joab Malik gives the charge in the air. He will beat everyone. It's the Hoardings. Another six. Big over. Again, excellent use of feet. This time making it into a full toss. England under a little bit of pressure here. Owen oh, Ali just one ball left of his spell, so England have to turn to their quicker bowlers after this delivery. So Pakistan level with England at this stage, 92 for five. Oh, and Ali finishing his spell off 22 from four, ruined slightly from the last over, but it's a pretty good uh, return, even on this surface. Morgan's gone to Wokes. Wokes has a couple of overs left. He, he would like to keep him back normally for the last over or two, but I think he feels that uh, he needs to break this partnership and he's going to bring Wokes back. Last two overs have got Pakistan 25 runs, three sixes in that. One from Adil Rashid, one from Moin Ali. So quicks come in. Owen Morgan wants to make sure he's got his fielders in the right place. Yeah, you can see Morgan there. He's just working overtime. He, he probably knows he's got one over from Wokes. He's going to want to hold Wokes back for his other one. And the discussion here might be something along the lines. What are you looking to try and bowl? Cutters, pace off the ball, needs cover on the leg side. He's got a deep square. Yeah, I think he needs cover on the leg side. Has to have four in the circle, so mid off or long off is being brought up. Three on the offside, one on the leg side in the ring. Oh, he's almost dropped it onto the stumps. Inside edge that might just run away. Yes, it does. Four runs. Frustration for Wokes, but that's why he needs cover on the leg side because the off cutter will go leg side, and that's his slower delivery. Not where he intended, but he'll take it. Boy, he'll take it right now. Shweb Malik eyeing that big gap between that square leg and long arm. Just getting that inside edge. You'll take that. That's very clever, that's very smart, played it late, helped it on its way. 
Yeah, that's brilliant. It really is. That's high quality batting. Batting's not been easy on this surface. Just using the pace. Thirty-three of the last fourteen balls. That's what Pakistan have managed. Can't really do much about those two boundaries. Hundred up for Pakistan. Well, he pushed for two. It's going to be Shoaib's call. He's got to be running to the danger end. In fact, the throw comes to the bowlers, but that's well done. 49 for Shoaib Malik. That's his 50. Valuable runs from Shweb Malik of 39 balls. More is required. Pakistan are 103 for five. But that's the highest score today. Absolutely, batting has been difficult on this surface. Very good. Using the pace when it's there and taking on the spinners at the back end of their spell. Now then, can he see his team home? Batting has not been good. It's been flaky throughout the one day series and the T20. Captain is looking at Shoaib Malik. Can he see his side home? Well, now Freedy can relax a bit. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, with him going at the other end, it just gives a Freedy just a chance to get in. First 50 in three years for Shweb Malik in T20s. That's his highest against India. 57 not out. 16 matches since his last 50. Short ball, 104 for five. Well, Pakistan are on a charge here, 51 from 30. The partnership is 39 from 23. Two vastly experienced players, Shoaib Malik and, of course, Shahid Afridi. Dangerous. We've got a game on. Silky smooth has been Shoaib Malik, 50 from 40, and how well he's paced this innings. Shahid Afridi has got to... Uh, Calm down a little, 15 from 11. We know that he can be temperamental. How long can he continue picking singles? Oh, so close. England always active and looking for run outs. It's just not used to this. Shahid Afridi taking a single? Impossible. Oh, direct hit, he would have been a goner for sure by a long way <laughs> this must feel alien to Shahid Afridi diving full length to snick a single Pakistan just ahead at this stage England were 100 for six slowly from David Willey who's got excellent figures two for 16 
he has to dive. He's done the right thing here. Morgan, that's so close. He hardly ever misses on Morgan. Great athlete, anticipated that one beautifully and picked it with both hands and shy of the stumps. Missed it. A very narrow margin. <coughs> so him coming, he's advancing down the pitch and David Willey just drags it down a touch, a single. Four fours and two sixes for Shoy Malik. He's played leg spinner beautifully. That was gigantic. Uh, this was pretty special also. Straight driving and then lifting. The off spinner on the full over. Long on for another big six. Very fine innings. No room outside. Off stump. They'll be really looking to tie the batsman up. Roundabout leg stump. Dangerous player, Shoy Malik. But the straight sixes. Forty-seven required from twenty-six deliveries. Rashid and Moin Ali have finished, so it's down to the Pacers. Oh, I say, that's out of here. He's Abu Dhabi bound. Goodbye, ball. Goodbye and good night. That really was a boom boom fire. 103 meter monster from Shad Afridi in his range and radar. And look at that one. Sail over the field. Sail out of the stadium. Oof. What a shot. What a strike. It's terrific batting because Willie has tied both bats and up on leg stump. Afridi. Talk about the experience, he dances outside leg stump, gets the leverage. We're not seeing that again. Probably the biggest hit of the game. Three sixes now for Shahid Afridi in his score of 23. Strike rate of 164. He's got to go till the end. Uh, this was the first one. Whacked over Wirish long on, then a slot sweep over square leg, and this monster hit. Whoa. In his range and radar, and away she went. We could find that on the way home. Beyond that nine lane motorway. Slow it. You know, that's been a really good over from David Willey, but he's gone for 11, 115 for five, 50 partnership, rapid time, 29 deliveries. He gets more cheers for his uh, single shot, Afridi. They're so used to him hitting sixes that it's, it's not magical anymore. When he blocks or when he takes a run, rotates the strike, he gets a lot of appreciation, which is strange. Well, it's 10 and over required, it's a doddle when you've got batsmen in. Hitting the ball cleanly, nine fours, five sixes. The beauty of T20 cricket, it can change. These two at the crease will be thinking, this is our game. Can't make a mistake. So Chris Jordan back into the attack, two overs, none for 20. England have exhausted the option of uh, spin. Moin Ali and Al Rashid have been bowled out, so uh, it could be a, an easier passage for this pair because this ball is, is gripping and spinning. Maybe it shouldn't be that difficult um, to whack the ball when a medium pacer is on. Let's wait and see. down the leg side he might just have got a little touch on it the batsman they're coming back for two umpire's call here what do we see yeah he's nicked it just a little nudge on it wild delivery down the leg side it's only a 57 meter boundary that way so you got to be careful it's a drop it was a difficult take down the leg side but you can't afford to 
dropped the ball on the shorter side. It's a shorter boundary away towards Square Lake. He's not catching that Butler, he's just punching it. He just gets a glove end on it. Now then, Afridi. <sighs> Nimble footwork, and there's a fielder out there, it bounces once. Just a mere flick and almost carried on the full to the man at Square Leg. 27 from 17 and he's timing them beautifully, Shahid Afridi. Have a look at this one. Covering the stumps, just a flick. Soft flick that almost carried to the fence. Look at that, he's been to dancing school. Powerful shot from Malik. Times the boundary. Hit it on the full and sliced it past point, past the man in the deep. This is fantastic batting. Malik is turning it on, 56 from 43. And this was clinical. He knew exactly where the field was. Uh, it was uh, beautifully crafted into the fence. Field change. They're going to need another fielder inside the circle. And it's fine leg, Adil Rashid, who comes in. James Vince can't just get there, so... Where's the other fielder gone? A deep mid-wicket. Full toss again, into the offside. This is a touch-and-go effort. Oh, brilliant fielding. Vince is a fielder out there. He might just save two. Well, this is T20 cricket at its best. Lovely drive, full toss. This should have made the fence, but no. Vince came in. Athleticism and uh, what a piece of feeling really was. Terrific stuff. Shoy Malik's highest score in T20 cricket. He eyes the leg side, steadies himself, waits. And we saw what he did, and brilliant delivery from Jordan. Just be a single. Ten from the over, one delivery to go. Good Yorker, followed the batsman. And almost took out Afridi with his uh, powerful sprint. But Pakistan would want this. Uh, this is one-dimensional bowling from England uh, that they're banking on pace. They would have idly liked uh, an over from a spinner. 30 from 19. Another bash into the offside, just a single, he's got the strike. Drinks are coming on, 126 for five. <laughs> Three overs left. And uh, we're expecting another dramatic finish here. 29 from 18. England looked wobbly for most part of that innings, but they got to 154 in Pakistan in reply. Shot themselves in the foot early on. The first five or seven overs, they were going nowhere with the pace, with the execution. But uh, now, this is a partnership that may take them over the line. 61 from 35 balls. Three overs to go then. And over each from the Pacers. David Willie finish off his spell. Three overs, eight dot balls, two for 25. Third man on fine leg inside the circle. Heaved into the leg side, will just be a single. You've got to admire his conviction. There are three men waiting for a miss hit on the leg side, yet he's going for it, Shahid Afridi. 
29 now. Malek with a, a strong performance with the bat. Also bowled splendidly. 59 he is from 45. Terrific innings. England go again, altering the field. Morgan very much to the fore. a little shuffle across a single to the leg side you just have you just feel there's a big shot coming England still have got a chance required where he is over 10 so Pakistan really will have to take risk continually till the end look at his eyes shifting around the field reaction and there's the evidence they're stunned I'm stunned Afridi's gone it was the slow delivery that uh, got rid of Shahid Afridi his fans can't believe it but England have got a massive strike here Afridi exposing his stumps down the lake side is gone and Pakistan suffer a severe jolt in the shape of Afridi's loss. He's gone after scoring a plucky 29. He's entertaining, 128 for the loss of six. Tanvir at the crease. He can hit a mean ball. Pakistan need 27 from 15. Just had a little set back there. Shahid Afridi, ball by David Willey. Slow delivery, 29 from 20. Tanvir's hit some big shots. What are England looking to protect? Look leg side. Expertly done. Slackening the pace and... Uh befuddling Afridi who's looking for a lap sweep around the corner got beaten by the lack of pace he's not looking for a single it's good over for England is this from David Willey just three singles dot ball wicket of course brings Malik back on strike field changes He must not get out now. Shweb Malik on 60. He holds uh, the key to success. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful, guided between the two backward points there. 133 for six. One delivery to go, the 18th. A magnificent shot this is. He read the field, beat the field. Yeah, slice. He knew exactly where to place the ball. Such an important boundary this because Pakistan were languishing in this over after losing Afridi. So the momentum is back now with him. 17.5 is 17.5 overs. England 132 for six. Pakistan 133 for six. Leg side and he gets another boundary. Ends the 18th. 137 for six. Ends it with a big flourish. Two boundaries of the last two balls of that over. Gives Pakistan a slender advantage once again. Required it has come down from 10 point something to 9. 18 from 12 balls. This now has become a, a pretty doable job. 
can't lose from here, Pakistan. England will say differently. Who's going to bowl this next over? It will be Chris Jordan, leaving Chris Walks with the last one. Big six deliveries here. Malik is on 68. What an inning, 68 from 48. Seven fours, two sixes. Tanvir is on strike. such a valuable for that coming just at the right time so he's, he, he tears the offside field and on this occasion he got the better of the leg side field full toss will only be a single and I think Pakistan are quite happy with that brings the inform Malik back on strike Pakistan ahead of England after 18.1 138 for the loss of six. England won 135. But what an innings from Shweb Malik. It's a T20 game where the pressure is tremendous. And you can't uh, blink your eye, you can't err, and he's been fabulous. Strike rate of almost 150. England got eight of their last over. Dangerous fine leg. He's so wide. Full toss. It'll only be a single. England, I would say, and particularly Jordan, looking to get that Yorker in. Just bowling a fraction full. And it happens in a pressure situation. Your Yorkers can turn into full toss and become an easy ball to hit. He's a powerful striker towards the leg side. Let's see whether he can connect one over the fence. He's got to go. Oh, full length. Well stopped. No single. Oh, this is going to be tight. Straight drive. Picks up a run. Ramiz, I keep looking at, at fine leg. You look at this field and you, you're always a fielder short. His fine leg is Moin Ali. He's so square. He's Yorker in precious dot ball. And at pace. It's pretty even, Stevens, after 18.4, 140 apiece. 140 for six, ENG, 140 for six, PAK. What is it, change of gloves, a change of batteries, a change of gloves? 12th man has sprinted on. He's bowled an important delivery, a dot, full-length Yorker. And as a result of that dot, the required rate has once again jumped up. It was at 9, just an over back. Now it's gone over 11, 11.25 now. Pakistan need to crack it big here. Last two balls, this has got to go for a four. And it does. Somehow he's got it down. There are no slips. Third man is wide. And he's nearly ruptured himself hitting this. Yeah, well done. Absolutely well done. 
Nothing elegant about that, but mighty effective Shreb Malik. All on four and gets an edge, gets a four and an important boundary. In the last game, in the last over, Pakistan needed 11. They've got an extra ball here. Pakistan need 11 from seven. Full toss. Shy at the stumps. Debate is if it's too high. I don't think it is. Nobody's bothered too much. It's the end of the over. There's another over to go. 145 for six. Ten off the last over. That's a slippery delivery. We're talking about 145.2 kph. Shreb Malik wanted an extra ball. It was touch and go. Was it over the waistline? Was it? I'm glad I'm not calling that. Here's the best bit. Ten to win. Nine for a super over. Again. <laughs> The other night they needed 11 in the last. Tonight it's 10 and over. Who's on strike? Malik, Joy Malik, what an inning. 74 from 52. Eight fours, two sixes. One over to go, then England stopping the game. Morgan chatting to Wolves. Wolves ball the last over in the last game. And Pakistan needed 11. Well, that's that last delivery. And, well, Rami, as you said, he's marginal. Did not seem too bothered. Now then, Owen Morgan, you're always a fielder short. Fox, it's going to be Fox. None for 18. <laughs> Bowling is last over. This is pressure. And just surveying the field. More than the batsman, I think the bowler wants to have the right angles created here in the field. So where are the boundary riders? There's a deep point, a square leg. There's a third man, fine leg, which is very square. Driven down the ground, it'll only be a single. Five deliveries to go, nine to win. Need a big shot, Pakistan. Absolutely, yes. And it's Soil Tanvir is on strike. Awards is going to be uh, nice and full. He's not going to experiment with a slow base delivery or a leg cutter and off cutter. I think he's just going to go for the base of the stumps. Go as hard as possible with a straight delivery. Well, he'd refresh in his mind what he did in the last game. Held his nerve. England have had a, a long chat. Captain, vice captain, bowler. Tanvir. He, he's not done a thing really. Tanvir's just had three deliveries, three singles. He can smack it. The strengthening the leg side basis for Swail Tanvir. Fine leg has been asked to come in the ring. Or is it square leg? Square leg has been asked to come in, in fact. Eight for a champagne super over. I said last time I've never seen one. That's because England have never had one. <laughs> Today could be the big day for the uh, super over. Required weight over 10, nine from five. This is going to be wide outside off stump. Yeah, they've taken the extra man from leg to the offside. Two men next to each other at point area. down the ground how far has this gone six that's masterly that is magnificent striking hit it with a straight bat and easily did it hardly seemed to have uh, hit this one beautifully timed and uh, well advantage clearly now with Pakistan it, it's such a big blow this Straight back over long on for a gigantic six now. Three from four. One hit. One hit. And that was a real smacker. I said he got three from three. He's now moved on to nine. 
There'll be another power hours to where the fielders should go. It's been a fabulous game again. Both teams have put real shows on in the three matches. Been some exhilarating stuff. Now then, Tanvi, you're not going to get singles, are you? Give it the big one. Fiddling with the field now that the extra man, which was at point, now put at uh, mid wicket in the circle. This deep square leg in place. It's long on, still awaits for a miss hit. This could be uh, over of this delivery. Three from four. Dot ball's good. Dot ball's good. Three from three. Just a wild whack this time. Trying to finish it with. Uh, a, a big shot here down towards the lake side. They're all on their feet. It's going to be another heart racing thriller, this. And another conversation. Both batsmen get together. Bowler and captain get together. I wonder whether they could have run there. Let's get a single. Walks in his mind will know what it's going to be. He doesn't want to pitch it too far up. He just swings through the line of the ball, Tanvir. It's a single. And he gets there, just a single. That's a very important single taken now. The case is open for Shweb Malik on 75. Is the set man in. Afridi can't watch it. Well, I think James Vince collided with Tanvir and he's taken a blow to the chin. They both shook hands on it. He's been in the wars today, Tanvir, in the field as Pakistan need two from two. What are they talking about here? You've got to take a run. Take a single if you uh, if can't afford a dot delivery. as <laughs> rammed into the man. Well, he's been in the wars today. <laughs> Damaged his hand with a real sharp chance, caught and bowled. This is popular, this song. This is one of the best Ramis. What's this one? What song's this? What is it? Jive Jive Pakistan, David. Long live Pakistan. That's a bit biased, isn't it? <laughs> Whipping up emotions. <laughs> Oh, the crowd are loving this, they're having a good round of applause to it. Two deliveries then. Malik's on strike, on 75. Go on mid off. Look for the straight drive. No, he's gone down the ground. Oh, he's in it straight to long gone, he's gone! That's tragedy. Because the idea was right, but he went the wrong way instead of mid-off. He pushed the gun and went towards long on. And yeah, he'll be bitterly disappointed because this could have been the glorious moment. Not only for Shwe, but for Pakistan. He wanted a big shot, big six, miscued it. And a very good catch under pressure. Unbelievable stuff now. What have we got here? Two from one. Shwe Malik is gone after playing a great innings of 75. 153 for seven. But what drama. Pakistan need two from one ball. They need one for a super over. What happens then? The team batting second, i.e. Pakistan, bats first. You've got three wickets to play with. There is one bowler. Tanvir. I think Tanvir will be on strike, he is. Untimely device of Shweb Malik. Just when he had got the base covered, he went for that big shot and got caught at long on. Well, some of the fans just couldn't believe the luck. <laughs> yep. It's been a great contest. What a T20 series we've had. It's been fabulous. I mean, full marks to both teams. They've been terrific. The entertainment for nearly full houses. We play the test matches, they're not a soul in the ground, and then you come to this, 
They've given it everything, both sets of players. Just look at the faces. These are guys who've played in the game. We're not going to get this other ball for I don't know how long yet. We could go and have our dinner. England taking the own sweet time to set the field. We have a little pause here because there are fielders flying all over from leg to off, from off to leg. There's all sorts of things you've got to, he's got to hit the ball and run. Hit it to the boundary and win the game, fine. If he misses it, they've got to run. Wicket keeper has got to be absolutely sharp as a tack to try and hit the stumps. Anwar Ali at the non-striker's end has got to get his skates on. No use telling you where the field are, they're all over the place. Spread out in a bunch. Right, we're ready. Swing and a miss. Mr. Stumps, we've got a champagne over. Oh, there's going to have a look, but I'm sure he's in. Absolutely sure he's in. I reckon this is a tie. I reckon you've got your wish, Bumble. I think it's going to be a super over. Now, how, how close was this? Is this out? Has England won? Is it going to be a super over? Is it? Oh, he's just made his ground. So it's a tie. And we're all set for a super over. Superb game of cricket. Not out is the call. Scores a level. Match tied. Bring on the super over. Oh, come on, captain. We got a super over there, absolutely thrilled. I'm not sure they know what's going on, to be honest. Oh, the shaking hands. Over time for the umpires. The team batting second, Pakistan, bat first in the super over. They'll be getting to know all the rules here. You can rest assured that the players will have no idea. Well, this was uh, good cricket in the end because that ball was missed by Soil Tanviri. He had to rush back to the non-striker zone. And in the end, he made his ground just marginally. Right then, England uh, will decide who to give the ball to. It's a one-over contest, this. That, that's it. I mean, you make a decision. Do you plan this before if it gets down to this? Who's going to bowl this over? Do you bowl a spinner? It's spinning square. Do you bowl a spinner? Or do you go with an up and down, medium pace, bit of pace, somebody out at the back of the hand? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, or Wokes. Wokes finished the last over, so it'd be uh, nicely warmed up. 154 for the loss of seven, then Pakistan have tied the game. Shweb Malik has played a blinder. 75 from 54, Afridi with a cameo. And after 20, it's even Stevens. And we are in for a super over. England, three for Willie, one for Wokes, one for Rashid, and one for Moin Ali. We'll take a short break. After having a look at the match summary then, it's 154 versus 154 for the loss of seven match tied Super over to follow. Well, we're ready to go again. Just a reminder of what happens. The team who batted second in the main game bats first. And you nominate three batsmen. So it's going to be a Freedy, who else? Umar Akmal and another. They got three. I'm fine with uh, Afridi as a as a choice, but I'm not too sure about Omar Akmal. I would have preferred Shweb Malik out there, who is uh, who's batted brilliantly and was in uh, red hot form. But uh, Pakistan opting with Omar Akmal. Let's see whether this works or not. But you've got to go at full throttle straight from ball number one. Lose two wickets and the innings is over. Who's going to bowl this over? It's going to be a pacer. I think it's going to be Chris Jordan. Oh, 
Chris Jordan with the one and only over to Shahid Afridi. He'll love this. You can't, if you lose two wickets, the innings is finished. Chris Jordan is England's choice. Right then, it's going to be pace and uh, the Yorker length, I guess, from Jordan. Afridi is so good square through the leg side. And, and I don't think he'll get any on the shorter side from uh, Jordan. He looked the ball as quick as possible and as straight as possible. What a job for the coaches to decide. These are the three batters. You're going to bowl. Or is it down to the captain? This is what's happening. But we're in for a treat. Oh, dot ball through his legs. A dot ball. A dot ball. Yeah, that's going to be the script for Jordan in this over against Afridi. Quick and straight. And full. Through his legs, that was well kept by the keeper. Anwar Ali. He's the next batsman. He's terrific from Jordan. Just a leg by. Two deliveries. One run, Pakistan. Yeah, fantastic start. We're talking about bowling to Shahid Afridi, who can neutralize you with his <laughs> massive hitting. But what they've uh, done so far is to bowl in that middle and leg stump line to Afridi, not allow him any, any swing of the bat. So what about Umar Akmal? Where's he going to look to play? Where's his strong point? I think he's strong all around, but uh, once again, he'll, he'll look to favor the leg side field. He's good down the ground as well. Look for a slice to the offside. Full toss, very low. It'll only be a single. Wow, this is terrific from Jordan. Yeah, smart cricket from Jordan. Over 140 clicks. Nice and full. Afridi is going to get the same tonic again. Nothing to develop uh, his, uh, his range with the swing of the bat. It's going to be nice and full and possibly on that middle and leg stump channel. Now, fine leg is up in the ring. That's an interesting field. Oh, that's a terrific delivery. He's following them. Batsman looking to go down the leg side. There's nothing happening for Pakistan. Yeah, it can be predictable, Shahid Afridi, and uh, Jordan has got it absolutely right. Two deliveries to go. Pakistan, a poultry three without loss. Make that three without loss and one to go. Gracious me, what an over. Now, this is not good stuff from Pakistan. They needed a bit of improvisation, someone who could uh, work that channel. This is nice and full from Jordan. This is brilliant from England, yeah. Maybe somebody like Safras could have been handy, who likes the ramp shot. Something different. Oh, Balding! What a performance from Jordan. Take a bow, son. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Jordan nice and full. Trying to work the ball with a ramp. And he's hit the bullseye. Magnificent stuff. What a good choice from England. Well, the umpires are checking the front foot, and that's it. So the innings has ended. Pakistan, three. 
what an anti-climax for the team. They've done so well. Shoy Malik played brilliantly. And England strong right at the end through walks. And we'll see that again. What a fantastic over from this young man, Chris Jordan. It's a brilliant effort. Yeah, ready to perfection England. They knew way to bowl to Shahid Afridi. Nice and full, and this was predictable. And it worked for England. But you've got to admire the consistency. There was a line-hearted performance from uh, Chris Jordan. Not easy to perform when you're under pressure. He was under a lot of stress. This could have uh, gone haywire for England, but uh, he kept his nerve, kept his cool, and bowled a lovely channel, nice and full and at pace. And, uh, well, Pakistan are up against it now. England just four to win this. Well, they'll be so dejected, Pakistan, but they've got to put that behind them. They've got to find a bowler to do exactly the same. There's plenty of fielders out there just going through the routines and catching the ball and plenty of bowlers. They've got to find somebody that can bowl. Well, 10 out of 10 there, 11 out of 10 from Jordan. That was superb. Wonderful skill. Worth looking at it again. Limiting uh, Afridi's backswing. Two Yorkers on the pads, then a straight delivery to Umar Akmal, then another delivery that followed Shahid Afridi, hit him on the pad. And uh, it, Pakistan just got frustrated with the situation. In the end, Umar Akmal not been able to manage anything out of the last ball. He was bold. And England, with a magnificent super over, just need now four to win. Well, the crowd are staying, but they'll be reflecting on that effort from Pakistan, but take nothing away from Jordan. England need one hit, just one blow. All eyes on who England will send out. Pakistan's only chance of, uh, of winning this is to bowl out England. They need two wickets. Who could be the bowler? I'd uh, have Shahid Afridi come and bowl. He, he's been good. Bit of leg spin wouldn't do it any harm to Pakistan's chances. Good option. England have only got two wickets. It's one over and it will be a freedy. It will be a freedy. England have got two wickets.